Variables are neat and allow cool things. Besides the score, we can also program a countdown. For instance, we can make games in which you must reach as many points as possible in a certain time. Let's take a look at how to program this with an easy example. If the time runs out in this program, a game over screen should be shown. First, we define a variable called countdown with the start value of 10. Every second, the variable should be decreased by 1. We need a forever loop, and in the loop, we put the brick wait one second. If we wait one second, the variable should change. Therefore, the next brick is change variable with the value minus 1. Finally, the variable needs to be shown on the screen. If we test our program, we see a countdown, which is starting at 10 and every second it counts down. However, if the countdown reaches 0, the countdown doesn't stop, it is going minus. Since we want to end the game at 0, we need an if statement. For this, it's best to pick the wait until is true brick. We place this brick underneath a new when program starts brick for better overall view. Go to the formula editor and insert in the statement the variable countdown as well as the logical expression is equal to zero. The program waits now Still the countdown variable is zero and then something should happen. In this case, we want to broadcast the message game over. What's left is to create a game over object with the respective code. Let's try our program. Yes, it works. After 10 seconds, game over is shown on the screen. Naturally, you could also hide all objects when game over is shown. Besides the score, we learned how to add a countdown, but there are many other situations where you can use variables. Have fun trying!